Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! For today, we will discuss about evaluating functions. We will be using the functions here, but before that, make sure you know how to do jamdas. This is the order of operating terms, grouping symbol, exponent multiplication, division, addition, and lastly, subtraction. With this, we are ready to begin. Let us start with example 1. Let the value of x be equal to 1.5. Evaluating functions is simply substituting a given value to the given functions. Let's start with getting f of x. x is now 1.5. So to get the value of that one, we have to copy 3 and then substitute x to 1.5 minus 2 now this is multiplication so according to jamdas we'll start with multiplication before subtraction so we'll multiply 3 times 1.5 that will give us 4.5 and then minus 2 just copy that so it will give us a final answer of 2.5 next let's proceed to g of x the same thing, g of 1.5 is equal to simply copy and then substitute the value of x. So that's 3 times quantity 1.5 squared minus 4. Again, x is 1.5. After that, we'll start with the exponent before multiplication. So we have here 3, 1.5 raised to 2. That will give us 2.25. And then, you multiply this portion, so that will give us 6. Now again, start with multiplication before subtraction from our gemdas order. So this will give us 6.75. Then copy minus 6. So performing that one, it will give us a final answer of 0 0.75. Now let's start with h of x. Again, that's h of 1.5. So you will simply copy and then substitute the value of x. Square root of quantity 1.5 plus 4. Adding that, we'll have 5.5. Using your calculator, that will give us 2.34, and that is our final answer. Let us now proceed to r of x. Again, that's r of 1.5 is equal to, copy everything and then replace x by 1.5. And then... Multiply first, so that will give us 3 plus 1, and then that is 0 0.5. Therefore, that will give us 4 over 0 0.5. Dividing that one, it will give us a final answer of 8. Next, we have T of 1.5 is equal to the floor function of 1.5 plus 1. The floor function makes you think of the nearest integer down. So 1.5 goes down to 1. And then copy plus 1. So that will give us a final answer of 2. Let us now proceed to example 2. Letter A is f of 2x plus 1. In this case, 2x plus 1 is our x. 
Now this will be what we will substitute to the function f. So rewriting that one, f of 2x plus 1 is equal to copy 3. And then x here will be substituted by the entire value here. So that's 2x plus 1 and then copy minus 2. Now let us distribute or multiply 3. So 3 times 2x is 6x and then 3 times 1 is positive 3 copy minus 2. So that is 6x, 3 minus 2 is positive 1. Therefore, this is our final answer. Let us now proceed to letter B with a given g of 4x minus 3. Again, this entire thing here will be our x. So we will substitute this one to our function g. Let's copy first. And this is equal to copy 3. And then x is now substituted by 4x minus 3 quantity squared and then copy minus 4 times again that's 4x minus 3 since we have here an exponent of 2 so that is 4 raised to 2 is 16 x raised to 2 is x squared and then 4 times negative 3 that's negative 12 times 2 that's negative 24. Just add x. Negative 3 squared, that is positive 9. And then, negative 4 times 4x, that's negative 16x. And then, negative 4 times negative 3, that's positive 12. Next is to distribute 3 on all terms here. So, 3 times 16x squared that is 48x squared 3 times negative 24x so that is negative 72x and then 3 times 9 that is positive 27 and then copy these two terms here now we have here x squared and there's no other x squared in these terms so, we'll simply copy 48x squared. Negative 72x and negative 16x are like terms. So, we can still add them up. So, that's negative 88x. And then, 27 plus 12, that is equal to 39. This is our final answer. We are now on example 3. So, in here, we have a different given f of a plus b where our f of x here is equal to 4x squared minus 3x since this is f of x it means a plus b is our entire x and we will substitute this one as a value of our variable x so we'll just rewrite this is equal to copy 4 and then a plus b is the value of our x squared that one minus copy three and then a plus b again now we have here an exponent of two so that's a raised to two is a squared and then a times b times two that's two a b and then b raised to two that's positive b squared now distribute negative 3, so that's negative 3a and then negative 3b. Now let us multiply 4 on all terms here. So we have 4 times a squared is 4a squared, 4 times 2 is 8, copy ab, and then that is positive 4b squared. And then we'll just have to rewrite 3a minus 3b. There's no more like terms, therefore, this is our final answer. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lessons.